Welcome to Six Figs, I'm Kyle. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about Nervos Network, Vitalik Buterin, and Risk Five. Mainly why Vitalik Buterin is bullish on Nervos and why Risk Five is important to Nervos Network and the crypto ecosystem. You see, Vitalik Buterin, the brain behind Ethereum, has mentioned Nervos Network many times over the years. And there's a few good articles that we're gonna pull up here just to check out to see what Vitalik is facing as far as issues go with Ethereum and what Nervos Network is already doing to kind of solve those issues. So we're going to break down the future of blockchain tech when it comes to risk five and why I think that Ethereum will eventually pivot to risk five. So let's get into this. So here's a quick rundown on Nervos Network. And it's a unique project because Nervos is a layered blockchain, meaning it's split into two different parts. The base layer called Common Knowledge Base or CKB, which is the super secure foundation and where all the important data gets stored and basically where the network's consensus happens. There's a layer two, which is where you get fast and cheap transactions. And you can kind of think of this as like a speedy highway built on top of that solid foundation. Now, what makes Nervos Network's uh, token model really stand out is the fact that one CKB equals one byte of storage on the blockchain. And this is like treating blockchain space as digital real estate, which basically encourages people to use it efficiently. And Nervos Network also used something called Risk Five, which is an open source way to run smart contracts. And really, at the end of the day, it's very efficient. Now, Vitalik's been talking about this since 2021, and he wrote an essay called A Theory of Ethereum State Size Management. And if you've under, ever wondered why Ethereum is kind of getting slow, kind of expensive at times, part of the problem really is something called state bloat. And basically every transaction, every smart contract, or every piece of data adds to the blockchain state and the state just keeps growing. So think of it as your computer's hard drive getting cluttered, getting filled up. And this makes it harder for your computer to run or the nodes to keep up. Now, Vitalik said that Nervos had a really clever way of figuring this out and they treat storage as a scarce resource where basically you need the CKB tokens to store data on chain. The more space you use, the more tokens you lock up. By default, this creates an economic incentive to keep things lean. Now, Vitalik calls it a state-focused economy and gave props to Nervos Network for building this model from the ground up. And he's compared it to ideas Ethereum's been tossing around, like charging for state rent or state usage and basically letting old data expire. It's like Nervos is already doing what Ethereum's still trying to figure out, and I think that's a huge deal. If we fast forward to 2025, Vitalik dropped another mention of Nervos in a blog post. And this one got me really excited because he proposed a huge change for Ethereum and getting rid of its EVM with something called Risk Five. Now, Risk Five is this open source architecture that's really efficient for running code. And guess what? Nervos Network is already using it. So Vitalik recognized this and really pointed to Nervos as this real world example of a chain actually using Risk V or Risk V uh, to execute smart contracts. And this is a big deal because Risk V could basically make Ethereum faster, cheaper, and way better at handling things like zero knowledge proofs, which are important for scaling. And by giving a nod to Nervos, Vitalik by default is basically saying, hey, these guys are already doing this, it's working, let's look at this. So when the Ethereum co-founder looks at a project like Nervos for inspiration, you know they're doing something right. So why should we as a community care about this in the first place? Well, it's kind of a big moment when someone like Vitalik notices a project like Nervos, and he's not out there hyping every single blockchain. That is very well known. He rarely even takes a picture with anybody. Um, so this is basically a super technical focused um, 
point of view that Vitalik is uh, basically telling people about. And Nervos is basically tackling some of the same challenges as Ethereum, like scalability and state management, but in ways that are different and maybe even ahead of the curve. And their state rent model and risk five architecture basically aren't just fancy terms, they're practical solutions that could influence how blockchains work in the future. Now, I saw some chatter on X about this, a post from a starter DeFi hub from April of 2025. And basically, people were buzzing about Vitalik's Risk V mention. And it's not like he's saying, go buy CKB, but it's clear he respects the approach that Nervos has been taking. And that's got the community talking. So when we look ahead, um, you know, I'm curious to see where this goes. And for Nervos, it's about growing the ecosystem and building on their layer one and two. And I think that maybe they'll even work with other blockchains down the line. Now, for Ethereum, Vitalik's Risk V idea could be a game changer, and Nervos might end up being a blueprint for this game changer. So if you're intrigued by this, I'd say check out Nervos Network um, and really dive deep into their state rent model in Risk V tech. Um, so I do think that this benefits Ethereum fans in one of the biggest issues with Ethereum is that basically it's slow, it's expensive, and really it's really got to jump these hurdles to keep moving forward. You see, some of the biggest um, failures in business are the failure to adapt to the consumer needs. So if Ethereum can basically go ahead and uh, adapt risk five, I think that would drop fees, it would make computation a lot more efficient. So with that said, folks, I hope you guys enjoyed this little overview on really a great article and some great thoughts from Vitalik Buterin on Risk Five, And we'll dive deeper into Risk uh, Five when it comes to Nervos Network in the next video. So I hope you guys have a great day. Subscribe, like the video, let me know in the comments section, would you support Ethereum ditching EVMs for Risk 5